now we are joined with Sergeant Efren Carmona. Did I get that right, Efren? You did. Very good. He is with the Mesa Police Department. And Efren's here to talk to us about a very important matter, a very concerning matter uh, in Mesa. So Efren, talk to us a little bit about some, tr some uh, uncomfortable trends that we're seeing happening in uh, Mesa, Arizona. So recently, in the, the first five months of this year, we've seen a rise in our pedestrian fatalities. Um, last year, we had roughly, or we had 10 fatalities pedestrian related for the entire year. Um, this year, we're up to nine fatalities for the city of Mesa. Okay, so that's not good. So share with us um, what it is that maybe as you've looked at that trend, obviously not the, the fatalities are bad. Is there a pattern here or something that maybe we could learn from that, that we need to educate the public about, you know, getting going across streets or how are, what's the, what are you seeing in this, in this trend? Are there, are there some behaviors that we can modify and try to educate on? Certainly. Um, and the majority, or in, on all of the pedestrian fatalities this year, the pedestrian has been the one that's violated the traffic okay. laws. So the pedestrian has been in, in the wrong for all the fatalities this they're year. Not walk, they're not in a crosswalk is what you're saying. So there's, there's a few different circumstances okay. that we have involved here. Um, not in a crosswalk, um, not obeying the crosswalk um, signals for okay. pedestrians okay. when to cross and when not to cross. Um, some, t some of the pedestrians have been in the roadway for unknown reasons to pick up an object mm. or just been in the roadway when they shouldn't have been in the roadway. Right. But in all the circumstances, the vehicle was not the person or the uh, causing the problem. It was the pedestrians that were in the roadway um, unlawfully. So the police department, are you looking at uh, kind of rolling out a campaign, uh, some kind of information, share with us what you're... So we're, we're here today just to kind of educate the public as far as when to cross, when not to cross. Um, when these fatalities are occurring, um, the majority of these fatalities are occurring at night um, when you're, the mm. pedestrians are less visible to the sure. vehicles. Um, obviously, when they cross the, the roadway, we want them to be in, in a marked crosswalk. Not only do you typically have more lights at a, at a signalized intersection um, and you're more visible, but the cars are going to stop because they have the light there for, for the um, crosswalk. Um, also, that we want to take a look at is just pedestrians need to just take their time um, when crossing. Um, the street and make sure that if they're in the roadway, they can cross. It's, it's not typically illegal to cross outside of a crosswalk. There mm -hmm. are unmarked crosswalks, but they need to be aware that the vehicles have the right of way when they're outside of a, of a crosswalk. Right. <clears throat> so just a lot of awareness of what's happening. Um, is there, are you concerned in that trend? Is all ages? Or are we talking mostly? children, young adults, uh, older, is it a, a variety? That's a good question. Um, this year, we're, when you look at ages, believe it or not, we have one juvenile that okay. was a, a fatal statistic. The other ones have all been adults, so anywhere from the ages of 20 to 80 years of age. So age um, looks like it's adults, it, more so occurring at night. Um, the juvenile was the only incident that occurred during the day for this, this time of the year. Okay. So when we look at age, um, it's just basically the pedestrians are not paying attention. They're not crossing in the right places. They're not following the pedestrian um, signals. They just need to be more aware of the surroundings. Just be, and all, the other thing that we want to let pedestrians know, just because you're in a marked crosswalk doesn't mean you're safe. Yeah. Uh, make eye contact with the driver if you can. Um, make sure the car is going to stop or is, is slowing down before you enter to that uh, street. And that's going to make you safer. Pedestrian, unfortunately, is not going to win when yeah. it gets in a collision with a vehicle, yeah. and that's what we're seeing Very right tragic. now. Okay. Well, thank you. Well, we appreciate you bringing this to attention. Anything specific about some programs that you're planning on rolling out in the next few months or weeks that we can be looking forward to? Certainly. Our officers are out right now looking for people crossing the street illegally. Okay. Um, if they see them and they're causing a hazard, they're definitely going to stop and have a, a talk with them about what they should and shouldn't do. Um, depending on whether the officer issues a warning or issues a citation, that's up to the officer's discretion. But we are rolling out a campaign that we are looking at pedestrians right now and making contact with them to educate them about the laws as, as it relates to uh, pedestrian safety and crossing the roadways. Very good. Well, Efren, thank you. Sergeant Carmona, thank you for being here with us today. This is an important issue. We want everyone to be safe, careful uh, crossing the streets. And I think what we're saying, especially in the evening, at night, that seems to be a concern. So be very careful and aware of your surroundings and making sure you're crossing where it's well lit and making sure the cars can see you. So, Efren, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Appreciate it.